left wing circle now. Tried to make his way back to the front of the net. And it's br brought back along through center here by the Smoke Eaters. Here's Stefanik back in front going to the goal and trying to follow up on that. Loose puck in front and Stefanik scores. Boy, what looked like a broken play. That puck just never seemed to move in the middle of the ice. And it's Jason Stefanik who finds it and roofs it over the blocker side of Matthew Delarusso. 2.38 to go here in this opening period. 1-0 trail the lead. Really unfortunate there because uh, just it was just some, sometimes the puck just bounces right for you and, and it did on that one. Kind of reminiscent of a dominant first period last night uh, by the Warriors and they ended up uh, down a goal. But uh, <clears throat> still the Warriors have played really well in the first period. Yeah, that's a, a very unfortunate play there. As the Warriors are down one to nothing on the late first period goal by the Smoke Eaters. And now here's West Kelowna with a two-on-one chance. Here's Karan right side, dragging, shooting, scores! Well, that's the answer you want. That was a really nice play, too. There's nothing lucky about that one. Snake bitten no more. Felix Karan, what a gorgeous dangle in the right circle to go up and over the glove side of Kendrick. Just like that, the Warriors have an answer and tie the game one-to-one. -one. That was really nice. I mean, uh, Felix did a great job. A toe drag and found the net. And you could tell he was pretty happy about that because uh, he's uh, he hasn't had a lot of luck this uh, season. And that was, and, but that wasn't just a bounce off you. Cause that was a beautiful up top. Here's Norland along right side. Here Costas. Here Costas will drag, move to the middle. Now in the left circle, he scores. Well, there you go. Jackson Kierkostas, his first career BC Hockey League goal, comes on the power play as he drifts to the left circle and fires it past the glove side of Tegan Kendrick. And the Warriors have their first lead of the night. It's 2-1 West Kelowna. You're just talking about scoring a goal. Boy, I tell you, you got to talk about that more often, Trevor. <laughs> That's great. Gorgeous shot by Kierkostas, able to find the handle in the left circle and bury it past the goaltender, Kendrick. It'll be Isaiah Norland and Felix Caron that will draw the assists on the goal for Kirkosta. So it's a goal and an assist so far in the hockey game for Caron. The Warriors will try and spring it ahead. It's Kim, it's Kim Karen Humble back and across the blue line. Left wing feed. Drury hangs on to the middle. Compton backdoor scores. Oh, my. Oh, my. Okay. What a passing play, and it's Caden Kim Karen Humble who has his VC Hockey League goal, and it's a 3-1 West Kelowna lead. They score in quick succession here in the second. And that goal was so nice. We're talking about this, this big giant line uh, that we were talking about in the first period. Well, that was just special. Nice advance by Kim Karen Humble inside the zone. Drury back to the middle for Compton, and he finds his man back door, and Kim Karen Humble who finishes it off. Gorgeous goal there for the Warriors, who are able to get ahead by a 3-1. Gathered up now back around on the right wing side, and it is collected up here by the Smoke Eaters. Back at the blue line now, Jack Kennedy makes a move, cuts down the left wing. Here's Matthew Cabeto, one to the net, redirected and scores. Adam Marshall right in front with the redirection is able to put it by. And Marshall, a fantastic redirection on that one, makes it a 3-2 game. That was kind of, a, that, had, that, uh, that had eyes, I'll tell you. Nice goal, though. Really nice goal. Nice deflection. Well, the goals are coming thick and fast now. They are here in the second period. That's a great deflection in front by Marshall after Trail was able to keep that puck inside the zone. Marshall going to the front of the net and just a fantastic redirection of the front of the goal for the Army commit. So Marshall gets the marker with the assist going to Jack Ken Salmon arm winning today moves them to three and one, so I guess they technically move into that first place spot. But crazy, well, three you games know into the season to have that be two and one. I have an score idea. right off the wow, trial. right off the faceoff. It's Jack Pridham who finds the puck on the outside of the faceoff and rips it over the blocker side of Tegan Kendrick and gives the Warriors a four-two lead. That was a bit of a surprise. I was too relaxed on that one. It was. Right off the hop, Pridham got to that and just rifled it up and over Locker's side. Right off a face-off win by Trent Wilson. Cal Hughes had a bounce up to Pridham and he rifles it home on the blocker's side. Outstanding stuff from Pridham to give the Warriors a 4-2 advantage here and double up the lead. 
Forced back around by Ethan Warner. Warner around to the right corner. Here's Brooks back with it now as he ties his man up there on the right side. Chase Stefanik trying to free this puck up as well. 11-15 to go here in the third, up the boards. Patrick Riley makes a move, works down the right side into the slot. Salandra almost cut it off and now put to the net, they score. It's Josh Schenk from the slot after Salandra thought he had it to advance the puck out. Schenk finds it in the slot and buries it past the blocker side of Delarusso. And don't count this trail team out. They've got no quit in them. It's a one goal game. It's four to three. We're going to have an exciting last 11 minutes and six seconds there, Trevor. It's uh, uh, shot right from the very right from the slot. Yeah, Rowan, a pass cut off there by Brooks says it's loose in the neutral zone. And it will be collected up by Norland. He can't clear it down ice. Pridham trying to find it too. But now Parsons will come away with it. Centering a pass in front to the net. What a stop by Delarusso. Matthew Delarusso, an outstanding save on that play that went to the front of the net. And Stefanik goes to the goal on his forehand. And Delarusso flashes the leather with a terrific glove save. And it keeps the Warriors lead at Three or at four to three. That was a spectacular moment. It really was. And uh, you know, Matthew Delarusso, that's his time to shine right there. And he did with just uh, two and a half minutes left in the game. And uh, boy, I'll tell you, that might be the difference maker right there. That was Josh Schenk that got that chance. And now as Hilditz trying to play it up as well. 135 to go here in the third. Up the wall right side. Nelson to the middle. Osmus, a lead feed along the right wing. Salandra trying to chase this down in the right circle to the empty net. He scores. Michael Salandra finds the back of the empty net. And with 125 to go in the third, the Warriors lead it 5 to 3. Well, you would think that would seal it tonight with him. With a buck 25 left in the game. Uh, good defensive effort for the last two or three minutes in the defensive zone. Good penalty kill. And uh, then just a fairly easy empty, empty net goal. Yeah, a nice, uh, a nice play there for the Warriors to get out from their own zone. And just tipped back in from center by Kolechian. Kendrick out of his goal. Five seconds to go here in the third period. Karan will try and spin it back in front. Trail will bring it back out to center. But that'll do it. That'll sound the buzzer on a hit by Zenia Miles to end the game. And this one's over. It's the Warriors who win it 5-3, to three, the final score. And finish off the weekend with the victory here on this Saturday night over the Smoke Eaters. Nice win. Uh, again, uh, they played this game without their leading scorer, and they had a good win. So that was really nice, too. I trust that everything is okay with uh, Johannes Lockerberg, who was not on the ice tonight, but a nice win for the Warriors.